What will I tell them when they find out firsthand that the underbelly of the earth is a cheese grater? At this point, the distance between myself and them will seem to expand in proportion to the vibrating electric current emanating from our souls. It will feel as if the life in us is also the very thing threatening to kill us. Or at least kill our ties, as per usual. And the only thing I'll be able to do to keep from collapsing prostrate will be to grab hold of them before our polar charges pull us apart. I will tell them. Don't leave just yet. Please don't. There is only one thing really worth staying for. It's true. But it's worth never deteriorates. Never under the normal eradication of time or even this distance we always feel on days such as these. You are here in purpose for all of us. All of us are here in purpose for you. When it feels like nothing belongs to you, not even the gifts you've been given, remember this. I am yours. And you are mine. Belonging to each other is as much a tangible possession as it is a God-given right, as it is a state of being. Every copper freckle revolving around my irises eclipsing suns, like lucky pennies reflecting cross bands of light in a pool of water, is alive for you now. Alive like the golden red coils of inspiration I can see captured and reflected in yours. You have to understand that everything on this earth can and will kill you, but like a phoenix set aflame, dying a few times is the only way we truly live. This is because it is in these moments you realize who you are, in contrast to the infinite space you and I occupied just a mite of. You are life. You are worth it all. You give me all my worth in the world. And strangely enough, we give you all your worth in the world. And with eyes alight, like lanterns in hand. We will make it using the same turbulent force that seemed once to be against us. We will walk it together. But on the off chance, I have no choice but to leave her. Yours. Because you're always mine.